If you'd like to look at a particular contact's history, uh, perhaps someone's made contact with you recently and said, oh, I received your email, I really want to speak to you about that property, and you want to have a look at what exactly they've been sent, the easiest way to do it is go to your contacts menu and contacts list, uh, look them up either via their email or their name, uh, click on the contact and you'll see their full contact card. So all of the information that we have on this contact um, in one spot, a, a snapshot page basically. So all of their profile information, uh, if they've completed the buyer preferences form, that would be there too. Uh, you have a, a list of all the comms, sent, open rate, etc. And even down to the point of their most popular property in terms of clicks. Uh, on the next tab, you have a timeline. So if in that, that uh, example I used before, they've inquired about a particular property with you, you can see on this page exactly what they've clicked on and when, and what comms they've been sent as well. There's lots of clicks here, uh, but you can see here there's the weekly listings that they've clicked on, um, they've opened the communication. So that can help you in terms of following up with them. On the next tab, we have property interaction. So a full list of property interaction for this contact uh, in descending clicks. So their most popular property at the top. And it can be helpful uh, with your follow-up as well. If they haven't completed the survey in the data discovery or the welcome email, it can give you an indication of what the, prop what the contact is looking for if there is um, a pattern forming here in their interactions. So if they were only looking at three bedrooms or were looking at a particular price range, you can gather from that information that that's what they're looking for. And then over here on the map tab, if you've got the contact's uh, address, you can see where they're located in relation to the properties that they're engaging with. So if they're looking further afar than where they are, you might presume that they're looking to relocate. If all the interaction was right around their address, you might presume that they're self-appraising. If you want to see it in more detail, just click on uh, zoom in with the plus and minus button, or you can click on this hourglass, which means there's a cluster of activity uh, to zoom in as well. So the numbers indicate how many times they've clicked on the property and you can click on it to see exactly which property that is. So if you want to look up the information on a particular contact, that's the best way to do it.